In this video, I'll go over the interactions of the salesperson or account executive with the lead record itself and working with the lead through the qualification process. This could mean whether there is an interest of the organization's products and services, or it could just be researching about the company and getting additional information from the internet and the social media. This will help us determine if the lead is viable or not. Within the lead, there are several key points that will help with the qualification process. The first one is the business process flow that we can be seen at the top of the forms tabs. From the perspective of the business process flow, it will start with a lead in the qualify stage and then move to an opportunity and possibly to quotes, orders and invoices in the develop, propose and the close phases. In the qualified stage, of the business process flow, we can determine if the lead is associated with an existing account or contact. Usually, leads will be in interaction with a new business, so the existing account and contact will be empty or not populated, as this will not be someone that the company has worked with previously. Within the main tab, we also find our timeline. The timeline displays information about any activities or items that are related to the customer. As an example, we could create a phone call activity with this customer. We would enter in the subject that this is an initial phone call. And we would specify that this is an outgoing phone call and in the description we can enter that this is a kickoff call with the customer to discuss the company's products and services and specify the duration and the due date. Once I save this interaction with the customer, it will post it to the timeline. This will allow the user to see from a single unified location any interactions that are related to this individual lead. The timeline also provides the ability to interact with other people with the organization. We can go again to the timeline menu <coughs> and add a post and possibly ask if anybody in the organization knows anything about this company. This will allow anyone who has access to the record to see this post and possibly provide some additional information about it. Let's consider after the initial conversation with the customers, we're able to determine some additional qualification information for the lead, such as the purchase time frame, which will set to this quarter, the estimated budget will set to 50,000 and the purchase process, which will set this to a committee. Now let's go create one more activity of type appointment. We will specify that the purpose of the appointment is a stakeholder meal meeting. We will put the location as the client office. We'll set the start time to tomorrow morning and we'll set the duration to a one as a one hour meeting we can also set the description here and specify that this is a sales meeting with a stakeholder committee now let's go ahead and save this meeting after the meeting is saved i'll go ahead and navigate to the sales insight forms in the sales insert form, you will see that there's an assistance section with a new meeting there. If I click on the meeting, I'll see who the meeting is with. I have the ability to open the meeting or the appointment or email the attendees uh, of the meeting with an agenda or some other information about the upcoming meeting. All of these interactions help us with the qualification process prior to us making the determination 
whether the lead should be qualified or disqualified.